What's up guys, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're looking at a brand new product from Fremont Knives. I met Mike and John from Fremont out at Blade Show 2014 down in Atlanta and they gave me one of these items to review in addition to one of their Farson hatchets so stay tuned for the Farson hatchet review. But this item is brand new, it's actually not even on their website yet, it should be up there very soon. If you do see it in this review and like it, I will put the link down below so you can contact Fremont and get a hold of one yourself. This is their Tough Creek tool and it's a neck knife. It's going to run you about $30 and it has a bunch of integrated, very cool features. It's nicely made and uh, I've been pretty impressed with it so far. Let's take a look at it. Let's talk through some specs here when it comes to your size. From end to end, you're looking at about five and a half inches. You have about an inch here on your blade and then an inch and a quarter on this portion of your Tonto blade. Now you've got four main items that are integrated into your Tough Creek tool. In the handle, you have your graduated wrench so you can adjust nuts, bolts, whatever it might be. Down here on the bottom, you have your bottle cap opener. You have an oxygen tank wrench here. And then obviously on the front, you've got your utility blade. Now I know for some of you, as soon as you saw the wrench and the bottle cap opener, you thought, well, how am I supposed to hold on to the blade to use those items? Well, you don't have to. This is the sheath it comes with. I'll show you what it looks like to be set up as a neck knife in a moment. But you can hold very securely onto this to use the graduated wrench or the bottle cap opener. This is a neck knife, so you're going to get your blade, your sheath, and also this included lanyard. Two things I really like about the lanyard. First is that this is on a swivel, so it's going to move very freely. It's not going to get caught up in your clothing. And the second thing is that it's QD, so you can quickly detach it. If you want to, you can now take the knife and the sheath, throw it into a pocket, throw it into a bag. And then if you want to attach this, it's easy to put back on as well. Here's a quick long distance shot of the Tough Creek tool. You've got about 13 inches of rope and when all is said and done from top to bottom the knife's going to hang about 19 and a half inches. So let's say you've seen this review and you're thinking man for only $30 what a great knife I'm definitely going to get one of the Tough Creek tools. Let me give you a quick heads up when it comes to removing the knife from the sheath. Some people may want to hold the sheath like this to remove the blade but as you're pulling the blade out it's coming awfully close to your hand so my recommendation is to do one of two things. The first option is to put your thumb right on that Fremont Knives logo and then as you're moving the blade, no problem whatsoever. The other option is that you can hold it back here where the carabiner attaches to the sheath like this and then same thing, you can take the knife out very safely. As I wrap up here, let me be honest with you and tell you I'm pretty selective when it comes to neck knives. I generally carry a pocket knife as my EDC blade and that's usually the only knife that I have on me. I can see the advantage of carrying an additional knife like a neck knife if it's low profile and ergonomic, but I just find a lot of them don't fit the bill for me and what I like when it comes to a neck knife. However, this Fremont Knives Tough Creek tool does fit the bill for me. It is low profile, it's low cost, again only $30, and I like the fact that it has those integrated features. I put a link down below to their website, so head over to the Fremont Knives website and check it out. Contact them if you're interested in one of these. They haven't made a ton of them, but if they do become more popular, they will be producing more. Thanks as always for checking out our videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check us out on Tumblr. More videos coming soon. Take care.